Hi, this is Marissa from Flux VFX. In this tutorial, I'm going to walk you through customizing a template with your photos and with your text. So we're in After Effects and we have this Audio Levels template opened up. So if we go to the Project panel and go to the folder labeled Insert Photo here, twirl that down and open up our Insert Photo 01 composition. So you want to double click. And as you can see, our timeline and our viewer are empty. So let's import our photos so we can drag and drop them into the timeline. Go to File, Import, File. So let's import our first photo. Select it and click Open. And as we can see, we have it in our project panel already selected. So just click and drag it down into the timeline. Release. And there we go. We can see it in the composition viewer. And if we go back to our audio levels final project, and go to scene one, we can see that our template has been updated with our photo. So any composition that is labeled final or has the word render in it, you will use that composition to render out your final movie. And those compositions are usually found in a folder called either final comps or render comps. And if you open up that folder, you'll see in this project we have um, an HD audio levels project final composition and that's what we have open. So let's continue. We're going to go to insert photo 02, double click that to open it and as you can see our timeline and our viewer are empty. So obviously importing just one photo at a time is going to be a bit time consuming. So let's go to file, import, multiple files. We'll select our next photo click open and our import multiple files window pops open again and we can keep going and click open and when we're done just click done now we can select our next photo click and drag it into the timeline and this isn't fitting quite like we want it to so with our layer selected we're going to twirl down the transform parameters for this layer. We're going to go to scale and we're going to hover our cursor over the numbers for the scale. And we can slide up and down to scale this proportionally. And we can move this around in the composition viewer. Let's double click to open the insert photo 03 composition. Let's grab our next photo, drag it in, and again, let's scale that down to where we want it. Same thing for number four. Click and drag, and a shortcut to get to the scale parameter is just to hit S on your keyboard with the layer selected. Well that will just bring up the scale parameter. And let's go to our last photo. We don't need to scale this, we just want to move it, so all you need to do is just click on the layer and just drag it. And if we go back to our final composition, you'll see that our photos have been updated in the final comp. And if you want to just click around with your current time indicator to quickly see it. So before we preview this, let's go ahead and change our text. So we'll go to the Insert Text Here folder, double click to open the Insert Text 01 composition. So for any text layer you'll see a T icon next to that layer's name and you can either double click that layer name to make the text editable or you can click on your text tool and hover over the text to start typing. And if we go back to our final comp you can see that our text is updated. And you'll just want to repeat that process for each text placeholder. So in order to view our changes, we will need to RAM preview this animation. So After Effects doesn't do real-time playback. First, it will need to process the effects and animation in order for it to play it back for us so we can preview the movie. So let's go to our composition menu, go to preview, and select RAM preview. And as you can see, our green little progress bar is moving along. So after a bit of time, your RAM preview will be ready. And if you just hit the space bar or hit zero 
on your keyboard will have our playback. And as you can see, the template has been updated with our photos. And if you change all of your text, your text will be updated as well. So as you can see, it's very simple to add your photos and your text to any template. So in our next tutorial, I'll show you how to set up a render so you can create a QuickTime movie of this template.